Hey everyone, check it out. I've got my latest batch of recent vinyl finds. I've got needle drops, lots of cool stuff in here. All right, so come along and let's check this stuff out. Okay, first up is this album here by We Are The Physics. Uh, the album's called R O K at Music. Came out in 2008. This band is from Glasgow, Scotland, and you'll see the band members right there. Uh, and uh, at least uh, 50 percent or more of this band is also a band called Slime City. And Slime City, uh, of course, also from Glasgow, Scotland, put out my favorite album of 2023, and it was called Death Club. So a friend of mine named Paul Conlon from the UK said, hey, if you like Slime, uh, Slime City, you're going to love where physics, it's basically the same kind of stuff. And uh, he's right. Uh, Paul, thank you for sending me this. I really dig uh, We Are The Physics. It seems to me to be the logical uh, band before uh, the mighty Slime City. And... Uh, Here's what the record looks like. Oh, yeah, and there's great stuff inside. Look at these little cutout figures of the band. Ain't that cute? Look at that. And then, of course, the beautiful vinyl. Ah, look at that. Look at that. Yep. And uh, you know we're going to do some needle drops on this. We are the physics side A. Needle drops coming up. This is like totally so cool. It's so much like Slime City. Great stuff. So much energy. Oh yeah, let's check out side two. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, there's uh, We Are The Physics. I'm digging it. And I, if you like We Are The Physics, you should really go check out Slime City Death Club. Because it's a really good record. All right, next up, this is a gift uh, from one of my YouTube viewers. His name's David, and he's in this band called First Boy on the Moon. They are a Swedish band from, I believe you call the city Malmo, and uh, they were formed in 2019 by David. And uh, yeah, I don't know what they sound like. This album's called Cyber Girl. Uh, again, if I didn't mention, oh, it came out in 2024, and um, I haven't even opened it yet, so... I think uh, I should uh, go ahead and open this, and then I'll uh, do some needle drops on it. Okay, let's open this album up and see the pretty vinyl. There we go. First Boy on the Moon. This band was uh, started in 2019. Look at that. The real heavy vinyl, too. All right, great. Here come the needle drops. Okay, now we're going to do some needle drops on First Boy in the Moon. Check it out. You know, it's, I'm getting an echo in the Bunnyman vibe right off the bat. That's my first impression. I like it. Yeah, it reminds me of a lot of 80s stuff. I'm, 
I'm hearing somebody else in there, like a really well-known 80s band, but this is great. Hey, you know, I like that guitar. All right, let's try the other side. I'm not actually sure which side is A or B on this, but here we go. I like that. Reminds me of something else. Man, all this stuff is really ringing some bells with me. And there we go. Okay, so there is First Boy on the Moon. David, thank you so much for the gift. I appreciate it. It is a very welcome addition to my collection. I think it looks great. And I'll just show you guys here. Nice little letter David wrote me on First Born on the Moon Letterhead, which is great. And I got the sticker. Love me some stickers. So that's very cool. Coming up next. Now, I love this band. I've loved this band for many years. Sum 41, my favorite pop punk band of them all. And I, and I, I like quite a few pop punk bands. Uh, I love that genre. It reminds me a lot of power pop. Uh, and uh, I'm really into them. So... I've seen Sum 41 numerous times over the last two decades, usually by myself. Uh, and um, I got to know a guy in the band named Tom, Tom Thacker, who plays guitar these days. And uh, I met Tom at the last uh, show they did here in Raleigh, which was part of this tour here, the tour of the setting sum, uh, their last tour. And uh, Tom was kind enough to get me and a friend in and... After the show, he told me he would send me the new album when he got home, and he did. And here's the new album, Heaven and Hell. Uh, from what I understand, Heaven, uh, it's a two-album set, two-record set. Heaven is kind of more of the uh, poppier side of the pop-punk world of Sum 41, and then Hell, I think, is kind of the more metal side of uh, Sum 41. And if you know Sum 41, a lot of their albums lean towards pop-punk metal rather than just uh, pop-punk. So I love this band. There's the tracks, and I'm going to open this up, and then we're going to do some needle drops. Oh, let's see what's inside. It's going to be the beautiful black vinyl, according to the hype sticker on the front. Nice sleeves, inner sleeves. Oh, yeah, got to start off with hell. Pretty good. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that Hell is gonna be my favorite of the the two uh, records. Although I do like some uh, poppy pop punk, but uh, I'm gonna just lean towards Hell. I think, which is typically what I do. All right. Uh, hey, let's uh, check out some needle drops on Sum Forty One. All right. Here's the Heaven uh, record side A. Here we go. Poppy, poppy, punky. I like it. Man, I'm liking everyone. I remember hearing some of these in concert. That sounds pretty metal -y. All right, let's just see. Uh, I thought this was going to be way more poppy, this heaven thing. Yeah, dopamine. I remember that one from the show. G -g 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 
يسجل Now that's what I thought this whole record here would sound like. Now let's go to the Hell record. All right, here's the first side of the Hell record, Sum 41. A little intro there. What's this? Yeah, I think it's going. Okay, this is a little more medley. Yeah, great guitar sounds. Yeah, all right. Side two on the Hell record. Technically side D, I suppose. Here we go. something in there. Beatles or something? Heard some kind of classic rock thing in that song before. All right, here's the last one. Some synthy bass in there. All right, some 41. Okay, there's heaven and hell. Needle drops. Very good. I'm into it. And thank you, Tom, for that. And you know what? Tom didn't stop there. Tom, uh, according to this nice letter he wrote me here, Tom uh, also sent me a copy of his band, the McCrackens. Now, Tom was in this band uh, since, I guess, in 95. Uh, he was uh, in the band, which is when this album originally came out. What came first? It was a 1995 album. This is a 2022 reissue on vinyl. Uh, but there's Tom there, Tom of Sum 41. He's, uh, he's in there. He's also in a band called Gob, and um, uh, they, they do quite well for themselves these days. I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure they still play. And there's Tom. <laughs> Tom plays drums for this band, but guitar for uh, Sum 41. And I guess here's all the denial uh, letters they got from labels that said, no, we don't want to sign you. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I haven't heard this yet, so I'm really looking forward to checking this out. And uh, let me just tell you a little bit about this band. Uh, I've heard that they nearly always played live shows in full costume, made up to look like two eggs and a dog. And then also they had this chicken as a, as a, a drummer. So um, I guess the story is, is that the dog uh, used to be the drummer and then Tom uh, was a chicken drummer. Uh, the band claims that they were transformed from men to two eggs and a dog slash chicken and given superpowers as the result of a freak nuclear accident. Um, and uh, yeah, Tommy's the original drummer and his name was The Chicken in the band. Uh, I'm about to learn more about this, but I am going to say that we should go ahead and uh, listen to this beautiful green record. So let's get some needle drops on the McCrackens. All right, Needle Drops on the Krakens, and Tom Thacker of Sum 41 and Gob is uh, drumming in this band as Mr. Chicken, or The Chicken, or something. Here we go. Hey, Tom, thank you again for sending me this cool stuff.
right at the end of the song chorus. Killer guitar sound. One more on the side. All right, let's check out side B. McCrackens. Oh, I like the backing vocals there. Like that it reminds me of Blink 182 for some reason. I hope nobody hates me for that. And that reminds me of the Dickies for some reason. All right, I like McCrackens. Here's one more. Yeah. This is awesome. All right, Tom. Dude, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. And Tom, I hope you enjoy the Thor and the Ass Boys I sent you. Now, VC, Vinyl Community of YouTube, my friends, this is something that I've been looking for forever. Okay? The Disconnects with our friend Ryan Kidd. If you don't know Ryan Kidd, a uh, link to his channel is in the description of this video. He uh, sent me a cassette of this. This is his band... From uh, 2011, this came out. And a while back, uh, because I'd known him on YouTube, he sent me a cassette of this. But I found this in New York City at a record store called Generation Records in Soho. And it was like 20 bucks. And so I jumped at the chance to buy it out in the wild and not have to get it online. And uh, um, Ryan here also played in a band called The Undead. Uh, the Undead from, I guess they started around 1980. Uh, he played in that band for a while. And also a guy named Jack Nats played in The Undead, by the way. And he was in Cop Shoot Cop, one of my favorite bands from New York. So this is Disconnects, their 2011 release, Are Healthy. And number 259 of 300. Can't shake a stick at that. But I was so happy to find this in the wild uh, while I was traveling to New York to see Amy and the Sniffers recently. And the disconnects are going to be uh, needle dropped right now. So check this out. All right, disconnects, needle drops coming up featuring our friend, the kid, a.k.a. Ryan Kid, right? VC royalty. Here we go. I'm so glad to find this in the wild. This is the only used record I'm uh, showing on this uh, video. Here we go. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, this sounds great on record. Go, Ryan, go. Now check this out. Side B coming at you. The disconnects. That's, that's, that's the good shit right there. All right, Disconnects. Thank you, Ryan Kidd, for your service. And I'm not going to stop thanking Ryan Kidd just yet because I purchased his new album called Dead in Memphis. And I got what was called the all-in package, which means I got uh, one of everything, basically. I got this test pressing, which is available now. And I got him, of course, to scribble on it because I like people scribbling on my stuff. And... Um, uh, the test pressing is available now. The actual pressing of the uh, the uh, 
what do you call it, the retail pressing of the uh, album Dead in Memphis is not ready yet, but this is. And so he sent me this, and it's got a great uh, insert. And you know, Dr. October, a.k.a. Dr. Ass, who you may know from the vinyl community, who's a link to his channel is also included in the description of this video. But uh, he plays bass, synth, and backing vocals on this album. Uh, of course, Marky Ramon on drums. <laughs> Marky Ramon. <laughs> but yeah, you got the lyrics, you got the little, uh, little record label logo there, and you got all that stuff that you need in a punk rock record. And it's all right there. And so look at that cool white label test pressing. And you know, I am going to do a couple of uh, needle drops on this, but I want to show you this cool sticker he sent. This little uh, personally inscribed... <laughs> uh, personally inscribed by the kid, a little letter from him. And also, uh, in that all-in package, we got the cassette, which I think there's only 50 of, if I'm not mistaken. And we got the button pack. And I guess there's a little sticker in there too, yep, of the album cover art. You got Ryan Kid's a mess. I'm ignoring Ryan Kid. If it ain't Ryan Kid, it ain't worth the fuck. And Ryan Kid arrow. And then of course, uh, hey, Ryan was such a cool guy. He threw this in for me, too. Since I brought the all-in package, oh, yeah, the shirt. So I do want to play some stuff off the record, but I got to tell you, Ryan Kidd has the whole album up uh, audio on his YouTube page. I'll include a link to that also in the description of this video. All right, we got some quick drops on the Ryan Kidd test pressing of Dead in Memphis. Uh, just some quick ones because you can find the whole entire record uh, audio on his uh, YouTube page. So here's just some, a little quick taste. Sounds great. Yeah, man. That sounds cool. Let's flip it over to side B. Give you a little something, something over here. Don't forget, go to Ryan Kid's page to see the, uh, uh, hear the whole thing, and I'll put a link to that in the description. Whale and rock and roll guitar. I love Ryan's voice. Yeah. <laughs> One more. Yeah. And again, thanks to everyone who has sent me stuff. Thanks to everybody for their service to rock and roll in making these records. All right. May the rock and roll gods bless you all as they blessed me. I'll see you next time.